It's like going to like a fun little concert in the park, but they're playing like really heavy rock, and it's kind of cool. I had much different expectations. Moi, everyone. Today we're super excited because one, we haven't made a lot of travel videos lately, but two, we are in Helsinki, Finland. <laughs> and today is Helsinki day. What good timing for us. It was perfect timing. So today this is going to be the perfect day to explore Helsinki and it's beautiful out. There's bright blue skies. And there's tons of events going around the city. Let's go check out Helsinki day. Let's go. Even though it's June 12th, it's kind of chilly. At least for us Texans, it's kind of chilly here. But you know, we have our jackets on. Apparently, we came at a great week. Uh, our host said it was, it's warm this week. <laughs> but regardless, today I'm wearing my Finland colors. I have my blue and white, and I'm ready to celebrate Helsinki on its birthday. <laughs> So the first thing on our list is to watch them crown the man of the city and the woman of the city. I don't really know how to like translate it correctly. Oh, we it got a Finnish speaker. Just uh, <laughs> doing, my, doing my duties. This is kind of like the first thing that we're gonna do, get ourselves a little bit more immersed into Helsinki Day and listen to some Finnish and have no idea what's going on, but we will be able to see the mayor of Helsinki and he's gonna crown the uh, man and the woman of the city, so. That's what we're doing. There's a lot less people here than we thought there'd be. I mean, there's a crowd. I guess we're just from such a busy place. This is the quietest capital city I have ever experienced in my life. So far, that's been first impressions. It's been so quiet. Not a bad thing, just new for us. Yeah, Maanantai keskipäivää. Tervetuloa tänne Espan lavalle. Is this the mayor? I have no idea, but if it is, it'd be the coolest mayor ever. <laughs> It's now 11.30. We don't know if there's going to be a crowning or if this is going to be a concert for three hours. I think there'll be a crowning at some point. The problem is we just don't know when. <laughs> that is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess no. So it's been an hour and 20 minutes. So I think we're going to go explore. Continuing, which was really cool. It was a really cool experience, but we ha we didn't really know what was going on if we're being honest <laughs> So we came across the street and now we're at the market square where it's a bunch of different tents set up to sell food and desserts I don't know what we're gonna try. I don't know if I'm ever gonna have a moose burger, but maybe there'll be something else I can try So not only do they have food and other things they have a lot of souvenir shops and I got a tote. I'm like, I'm not gonna buy anything. I saw, I see tote bags and my mind is immediately like, oh my God, it's tote. It's the European rubbing off on you. Jeez. This one's so big though. Are we gonna carry around this one? Yeah. Uh, yes. Fly it proud. <laughs> we stopped for a quick bite to eat in one of the tents and I got a creamy salmon soup, which I'm really excited about because I love salmon. It has potatoes, it has like a dill pickle flavor, and maybe rosemary. <laughs> I'm not a huge pickle fan, but it's still a really good good flavor and texture. I got a meat pie. I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it in Finnish. It's got rice, like, like shredded beef. But I think I'm gonna try it first without anything, and then maybe get some mustard. So this is like a sweet bread. I also think this might be potatoes and rice. And these seagulls are just 
Yeah, so it's like a sweet bread with like beef inside. It's good though, like the flavor, the combination of flavors is good. Not what I was expecting, I think. You wouldn't expect like a sweet bread and beef and rice in the middle. This is really good. I could eat this every day. <laughs> but bread, it would be like, this is the exact dough that you'd cover in sugar and call a donut or something like that. I wonder what kind of meat though. <laughs> So we strolled into the old market hall, which is actually called the Vanha Kapuha Hali. And it's the oldest market in Helsinki, and it was opened in 1889. But when you look around, you say, oh, it doesn't look too old. Well, that's because it was recently renovated. This would be a great place to grab lunch because there's so many different food stands, finished pastries. So what did we buy, Andrew? So we got a Runeberg tart, and this is a tart based off of a Finnish poet named Johan Ludwig Runeberg. And it's basically like a Finnish pastry filled with almonds, and it has raspberry filling with a little bit of icing on top. And it was said that he ate these every single day for breakfast with a glass of punch. I want to give it a try. I guess you just eat it with your hands. It has like a rum flavor. I wish the raspberry jam was all the way inside. Yeah. But other than that, very yummy. Do you want to try? Absolutely. Mmm, I can just tell it's so moist by the mm -hmm. sound it makes when it gets off, takes off the plate. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. I was actually expecting this to be dry. Not like an insult, like, oh, you cooked it too long, but like a drier bread. Mmm, this is, I like this. I'd eat this every morning. That is the tiniest tiniest little space to get that boat into. Ah, oh, but they can do it. They are finished. So we really enjoy cathedrals, and Helsinki has two huge ones right in the center. One being the Helsinki Cathedral, and the other being the Uspinskin Cathedral, uh, right? I, I think that was close, that was close. Was that close? Don't roast me. But we're gonna start with that one, and then head our way to the Helsinki Cathedral. Mind your head. So why'd you tell us that things were open and free if it was closed? Okay, that wasn't on the list. <laughs> we should have just looked at the list instead of listening to Andrew. We didn't make it long on our... On our adventures. We're getting quick, a coffee. Quick coffee run. Because somebody's tired. I said low energy. That was such a lovely coffee shop. And there's a lot of coffee shops like this here in Finland or Helsinki, sorry, I haven't been to the rest of Finland. <laughs> but that's something we really missed, is like a lovely coffee shop where you could like sit and work or just be quiet or chat. And it was just a really nice environment. I liked it. So we're gonna miss it. I think so. That's our tram. We were so close. <laughs> Ran and missed. Nothing like running to a tram and having everyone look at you and, and then pressing the button and it doesn't open. to one of the many free concerts going on during Helsinki Day. This is a really cool experience. It's very interesting. Like everyone is like so mildly entertained, but like everyone's paying attention. Like, loving it too. Maybe it's just the chill vibe of the, yeah. of the finish. But yeah, this is cool. There's people of all ages and there's like babies running around. So, I mean. It's like going to like a, like a fun little concert in the park, but they're playing like really heavy rock and it's kind of cool. Also, we've noticed so many people in Helsinki dress in a unique fashion. Everyone here is just artistic in their own way. It's yeah. I think the best way to put it. It's really cool. And it's really fun to be around. Okay, that was really fun and I kind of wish we could stay longer, but we have another concert we really want to go to because we got to take advantage of all these free concerts. <laughs> and this one is going to be a jazz flamenco show, which is kind of weird, but we just got done in Spain, if you don't know. We were living there for nine months. Yeah, so we definitely wanted to check this out and see kind of what this fusion is like. And they said but yeah. the languages are English and Spanish, which are both of the languages we speak, so. So hopefully we can speak some Spanish. Who knows, a little intercambio. 
Well, that was awesome. That was like, <laughs> that was super, super good. I was pleasantly surprised. I found him on Spotify with like 20 monthly listeners. It was amazing, it doesn't matter. So yeah, now they have one big fan now. They were a kind of like a Latin jazz fusion band, but they said flamenco jazz. And the main guy was from Madrid. Every single one of them. So, so good. Yeah. Well, this concludes our first full day in Helsinki. So before coming to Finland, there were some stereotypes. There aren't too many, actually. No. There's only like a two that come to my mind. Number one, it's like a utopian, perfect society and the happiest country in the world. Being from another country, every time we hear Finland, we just hear about Finland when it's ranked upon the best of whatever in the mm -hmm. world. So that's kind of what came to my mind. The best education, happiest people, I don't know, cleanest water. <laughs> yeah, everything. And then number two, another stereotype would be that people genuinely aren't very warm. And that doesn't mean that they're not friendly. Well, number one, they're very upfront. And number two, <laughs> they're just a little bit more cold, a little bit more reserved, which is fine. That's also very normal. I feel like, yeah, I've seen that a little, but I, I wouldn't say that they're cold. No, I just think they're very upfront. Like we've had two experiences already <laughs> where I would say that they're just very upfront. I think we'd all do better if we were a little more straightforward. I would also agree. But okay, what were our first impressions of Helsinki on Helsinki Day? I had much different expectations. I was expecting like a big patriotic- Hoorah. Yeah, hoorah celebration. And that might just be us speaking from our own culture because I think it is. Anytime we have anything involved in the US, we do one big patriotic hoorah. But not everybody does that, and that's no. fine. No. But what was unique about it in Helsinki is that it felt like there was something for everyone, and you were able to go celebrate in your own way. Even for like families and kids, they had like kids and family events and a Finnish jazz flamenco. I'm sorry, a Finnish flamenco Spanish jazz fusion concert. There was just a number of different concerts from a number of genres all throughout the city, as well as activities. I don't know, opportunities to get out and celebrate in your own way. Yeah, exactly. And also one thing we've really noticed is that everyone is very artistic in their own way. Um, we really, really enjoy that part. There's gotta be a great music and art scene here. Yes. Because everyone seems to express it through <clears throat> themselves. But so far we've really enjoyed day one of Helsinki mm -hmm. and luckily we're here for a few more days and we're gonna try to explore some of the surrounding areas before hopping on a train and going elsewhere in Finland. But anyways, happy, happy Hels Helsinki day! <laughs> and we'll see you all. <laughs> we will see you in the next video. Kitos, kitos, ciao!